I am excited I excited about uh, free comic day coming up so Really? Yeah, yeah. So what what's free comic day? It's a nice thing. I mean, you know me. I'm a comic nerd, so yeah. <laughs> The nerds, so yeah, the king of the nerds. Yeah, king of the yeah, <laughs> revenge of the nerds. So yeah, free comic day is all about you know how print is dying in okay. a way, and it's only I think people above thirties who are still faithful to their comics, reading mm. comics. So, so this is a way they do it all around the world. They is have it? a yeah free okay. comic day at your local bookstore, like a okay. local comics sh- shop. So what they would do is like each. a uh, publishing house like say dc marvel or whoever uh, would have a free comic printed okay like of their latest uh, series or whatever it could be a batman or avengers or something like that so it gives a opportunity for the kids to come in and you know grab a copy wow. get the feel of a comic right so okay. so that's a cool thing what they're trying to do so it's you know keeping the tradition so to speak alive okay with so comics. this is so this is like once every year is it yeah once every year it happens in may so okay. uh, yeah it happens all around the world and luckily blessed uh, in dubai we have a comic shop so yeah. i can get some free comics so yeah that's <laughs> yeah. good so i mean the good old days we had libraries yeah anyway. what what do you used to read So for me it was uh, shy to say a little bit online but <laughs> I was I was the archie fanatic okay uh, okay was, besides was, femina and uh, yeah. <laughs> shh this is 18 plus guys <laughs> archie is yeah you know now i mean i like archies but you know i can't get myself to buy a copy now no, yeah, of course, i mean yeah. Yeah, <laughs> at this course. age i don't know if it's going yeah. old but uh, have you watched the series though the the Tele series, the oh, you mean the Riverdale Netflix, and back and whatever the Netflix one. Yeah, yeah, yeah Riverdale, the, the, the Hindi one. Yeah, there's the, the Hindi one. That that's the movie. Okay, and then they had the series. Really? Yeah, yeah. The, that American series, Riverdale. Ah, Riverdale. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah of course, Riverdale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. But I watched... it was it was a, it was a twist to the fun of Archie and stuff like that. Right? Yeah, it, it wasn't was like more... what the Archies be. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, grew yeah. up. It with, was right? more of uh, I think it's like, like a woke mo- Archies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I think it was I had a lot of mystery in it, and you know there was uh, I think crime and stuff like that. I mean they gave it they gave it definitely they gave it a twist to it. Yeah, I mean I I watched the first episode and when I saw Archie making out with uh, Grundy. a teacher grundy or something is it yeah i was like oh <laughs> this is something is wrong with this man i can't watch this <laughs> can you imagine that storyline in the 90s bro oh up? man that'd be like taboo and you know i don't know what they would have burned the comic books i think what's so. the place what's the place we used to go down to in marga for the the library store cambridge cambridge, cambridge yeah, and levick they would have to close down definitely grundy yeah, making oh. out with archie <laughs> yeah oh my god but what uh, what about the remember the newspapers yeah they the would have like these comic strips yeah yeah i yeah. remember Mama Duke and Garfield. Garfield was fun. That was something I reached out for. Every peanuts, uh, peanuts was yeah, also something. Was the famous I, one. But Garfield was the one who the character was something I you reached out to to find out more about his. Yeah, his, there were so many like even Tintin, Asterix, and Obelix. Yeah, yeah. Tintin, I remember more of being the the public the book one. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. I mean the, the of course the comic book, but some papers would have a little bit of Tintin. Yeah, and uh, even superheroes like Spider Man or something. Yeah, or, or you know if you remember, it was called Indrajal Comics, if I'm not mistaken, like Phantom, Mandrake, the Magician. Yeah, yeah. They would yeah, have like yeah, small yeah, yeah, comic yeah. strips. Uh, But yeah. now, yeah, as you know, print is dying. What was that? What was that Indian uh, comic book? Tinkle. Ah, uh, Tinkle. Tinkle. Yeah, yeah Tinkle. <laughs> but Tinkle didn't have like a comic strip on the newspaper. No, yeah, so. but it yeah. was the Indian Indian version. Yeah, of the, oh, of the I think every Indian kid grew up with Tinkle, with Tinkle comics right? and yeah. all that. So Pandi yeah. and all the funny yeah, characters. Yeah, yeah, Birbal yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was. But it's sad. It's sad that what you're saying that it's true. Also, that print media is kind of uh, probably dying. So you know, yeah. and that's the reason why this comic book day is something that's great. I mean, even if, like you're saying, what newspapers? Uh, remember, we used to get on on page one. Used to get these small yeah, little small uh, political uh, political <laughs> satire. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I could think of at least in 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 Goa would be like the famous would be is Mario Miranda. Yeah, Alexi. Alexi. Yeah. Yeah. These were the yeah icons I would yeah. say when it came to yeah. cartoons. 
I think I think they're they're so it it's so the newspapers kind of categorized the comics for the younger generation, which was page three, page four, yeah, and page one was for the adults, obviously because it. And was you would political. have the crossword section along yeah, with the comic strip, yeah, yeah. And I think also I don't know if Dubai had back in the day. I'm not sure whether Gulf News or any of these publications had no comic strips. Probably, Probably I can't. Yeah. yeah. We're they must have old. had. I think everyone had it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm thinking of all these names. Not all of them were like on the Go and newspapers, right? Maybe yeah. some on Times of India, mm. uh, the Bombay edition, and then yeah. uh, maybe the international newspapers we grew up with, like being in Dubai. But yeah, uh, yeah those sad to see those days are going now. Yeah. And now it's yeah. all, of course, live action. Of course, it's all yeah. they're, they're making into movies and animation yeah. and all that stuff. So. Uh, yeah let's see hopefully yeah, yeah so yeah. yeah but it's good that you're keeping it so you so you will be on on comic what's it called comic day yeah comic day i, I mean i still buy comics and i i think it's the okay the storyline is one thing but the artwork man mm. this guy is uh, amazing uh, it's beautiful like you know lovely to look at and i just admire these artists yeah and it's it's amazing what they can do and uh, i i mean it's it's there the market is i think quite I would say healthy, but I think they're trying to get the younger audience. Mm. And I think what is happening is with these Marvel DC movies coming out, right? Series. Mm. So people are anxious to know, oh, what's up with that character? I want to know mm. more. Mm. Like, say, Hawkeye or whatever, Scarlet Witch and, you know, mm. characters like that. We want to get into their backstory mm. or what's going to happen next. So then they'll they'll be forced to buy a comic. Yeah. Of course, now you get online information everything is provided online but i think nothing like buying a comic yeah nothing like having that feel in your yeah i remember i was telling you i mean growing up for me it was a comic book um i mean uh, would you would you rather buy a book or or or, or read on kindle or something like that uh, so I'm not too much of a reader either ways. Whether it's yeah, yeah, but given this, a choice, do you prefer yeah, paper would, in I, your hand? I or? would prefer paper. Yeah, I think yeah. I, I'm still I'm still a little bit old school on that way. I would mm. prefer the uh, you know the, the something in my hand, right? And then have a bookmark and get back to it and stuff like that. that yeah, I think yeah. I would probably do that. Anyway, so great. Uh, it was nice. Uh, we, f- we we reminiscing. Reminiscing, yeah. <laughs> we reminisce. Let's get I mean, to the show. Let's get to the show. And it's actually something we we brought up the reminisce. Obviously, was because of uh, the guest that we have today, uh, and it's someone who kind of shares uh, a little. I'm sure will have a lot of stories to share with us with regards to um, all of this, uh, the cartoons or uh, caricature and uh, illustrations and stuff. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's introduce our uh, guest for today. So today we have with us uh, Billy Toon. Uh, Billy Toon is a white uh, collar executive by day Puts and a music. funny illustrator by night. And uh, Carrie, hey, you've got... <laughs> <laughs> you all What's may with... know him as Billy Toons, but down in Bardes County, we know him as Billy Joe Fernandez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't help it. Yeah. I just like that name, Billy Joe. It gives <laughs> me that cowboy feeling. Yeah, yeah, Mosey yeah. down. <laughs> Mosey on down. Get your last goose, people. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. So, welcome, welcome to Kiss Me, I'm Going. Welcome, uh, senor. Uh, senor, yeah. yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Kerry, for yeah. getting me here. Yeah. Well, Great. So much, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're very, very happy to have you here. So, as I said before, which uh, before, if some of y'all would have been, oh yes, listening if, to, if, yeah, if uh, y'all don't know who we are talking about, this is the guy. You know the WhatsApp stickers you've seen on your WhatsApp, probably. So this is the guy behind it. Yeah, and so yeah. I mean, it, it's something that's every go, and I'm sure has definitely yeah, received. Oh, I uh, use it a lot. I, I mean, use it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's it's so exciting for us to have to meet the person behind. Uh, all those WhatsApp stickers that we forward. Uh, for me, it's a ritual, uh, Billy. For every every birthday, uh, if it's a go and I, instead of saying happy birthday, I'll I'll send the the sticker which says. Uh, um, what Zolmacho is Zol- Zolmacho this <laughs> <eyes. laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even the cheers sign, I would always send that too. Even, I mean, irrespective, even yeah, non yeah, 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 or whatever. Yeah. So, but but I, lo- I love that. So every birthday, every friend of mine who will now realize, they'll be like, I'll be sent, go and obviously, we'll get the sticker which says Zolmacho this to the, yeah. and then I'll say cheers or happy birthday or something like that. So, um, yeah, it's great. It's great to have you uh, with us. Uh, not too many people uh, uh, probably 
know about it. So I'm we are happy to uh, showcase uh, one of our own Goans doing well uh, in this area. And we're excited to learn more about you. So we'd like to start, uh, Billy, with, uh, you know, my famous question. Are you Goan? Yeah, pure Goan. <laughs> okay. We are going car, you can we say. We are going yeah, car, yeah. Going <laughs> car. And where you're from in Goa? I come from a small, tiny village uh, from Sirsai. Uh, it is located... Shirsang. Between... Sirsai. Shirsai. Okay, okay. Sirsai, okay. what we call in, in the company. Okay, okay. okay. So okay. it's between uh, Kansai and Asnara. It's a very tiny village uh, situated okay. with uh, beautiful landscapes. Uh, okay. We have a nice zoar there. Uh, then you have rivers. Uh, you have two, three good sunset points there. Okay. If you want to chill out in your evening. Uh, very nice. And you have those... Uh, People with the small boats uh, going for fishing. Okay. Oh, nice. Wow. Uh, the the wells are there, and the fields and all everything is is been uh, in there in a village. So a lot of people come for fishing. Okay. And uh, in olden days, I remember uh, Sirsai <coughs> was known for this Sezago yard where a lot of people okay. used to come for the mechanical jobs. Uh, okay. So yeah, I, I think for yeah. those who do not know, Sezago is a, a famous uh, yeah. a company, a shipyard. Uh, correct. Correct. Uh, true. Company. That's yeah, true. Yeah. That's true. I uh, I think the shipyard is still there right. because uh, the barges still comes there because since the mining has been on halt or yeah, on halt yeah, still yeah, correct. hold, uh, right now the movement is not much. But if you go on the upper side of our village, you'll see you still see the heaps of uh, uh, ores. Okay, okay. The sand oh, and all right. oh, So it's been protected and been kept there. You still see those trucks been uh, there for years and now been rusted there. So oh, okay. a lot of the, that was the uh, people's uh, day to day earning. earning. They used to go yeah. there to, to get the because it was easier for them to commute. Mm. Like walking or cycling, they could go on a job and then just come back home. So right. all the nearby villages, um, you would see that where where had you done your job in early years? It was Sada Goa. Okay. So on your CV, their CV would say you'd say the yeah, Sada Goa. Then even Sada Goa had a football um, team. team yeah, where yeah, yeah, you would yeah. say. Most of the villages uh, came from uh, from those. Uh, really? So yeah, the team yeah, was yeah. predominantly from uh, from uh, 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 that area. Yeah, my dad was a Sadago player. Oh so wow! My uncle, uh, they have played. Oh wow! Uh, so he was a famous goalkeeper, but then an accident happened. Okay. That's why he had to choose a different path. So yeah. so yeah, th- that's that's how villages. And you're, a lot bringing of back, know. you're bringing back the good old days. We, yeah, those yeah, days yeah. when we used to follow. So there was Dempo, Chogle, Sesago, yeah. yeah, the yeah, top yeah, correct, three correct, correct, correct. Uh, football teams. And we were always seeing the standings of the league yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 How far is it from, uh, I would say, Mapsa is the closest place for you? Yeah, Mapsa would be the closest. That should be around uh, eight kilometers. Okay. Uh, is the airport closer now? The now, Mopa I have airport? not been to the Mopa airport yet. Okay, yet. So okay. maybe when I see the difference... I'll get to know how the traveling is. But, but I'm sure it's a big, uh, big difference for you now. I'm sure it'll be yeah, closer it than... Be. Yeah, it should be. It should be. Maybe I'll cut There off might be a shortcut uh, going to the airport there. from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, would you say like is... Uh, I always ask to, you know, ask this question to my guests where do you see a different Goa now compared to what you grew up with? Uh, we grew up in a Goa, you would say it was untouched. Hmm. The fields were there. We could yeah. go just down with the ball and uh, just play around. <clears throat> right. Uh, there were this uh, wild fruits around. Mm, okay. Okay. We used to have those berries. Uh, how yeah. you call mm-hmm. them? Chunna, Kanta, yeah. then yeah. Zamula, the yeah. Bora and all yeah, these things. Yeah, so yeah, we used yeah. to climb those trees. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that time mobiles were not there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the when it was decided with friends, we'll meet at four o'clock here to play or five o'clock on the ground. You yeah. don't need to message somebody or call somebody. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now, even though we have these mobiles, yeah. nobody is on time. So earlier, that pure village feeling was there. You would just go around. And, and I think it was much safer as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, that's where I would say, if you had to pass by after the Sunday mass, you have to hello everybody. Yeah. Uncle, auntie, they used to sit in the ball with their tea or breakfast. And we used to come from the catechism. Yeah. And everybody said, Baba, you are Yamge Chao Pyo Pa. You don't find that now. Yeah. Now the doors are closed. You don't yeah. know if somebody is somebody there else in the is house living is there. Yeah, or yeah. is it given on the rent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. you don't see that. So yeah. it's, it's a lonely way. And now yeah. you see in the villages also, slowly, slowly the constructions are coming up. Yeah. So the flats. Is it happening also. with your Shirsai also? It in is. In terms it of, is, are there non-Goans coming in? Uh, 
uh, and living I there wouldn't or? be knowing as i said now you don't know who your neighbor is yeah. <laughs> okay. on yeah. the other side especially yeah. in yeah. the in the apartments now i mm. know my next neighbors we've been there yeah. for okay. many years so i know yes. who's staying in those area but if there is an apartment coming besides me i wouldn't know who is the owner yeah. and who's staying in them Mm. Okay. No, but anyone taking up like the old houses or something like that is happening in in I don't know. I'm There not are familiar a couple of a uh, couple of uh, houses I know has been bought up by people from outside Goa. Okay, and okay. they've been staying. Is it going to become like Siolim or Asagao and slowly? These? I would say what it was um, two years. The property prices are increasing everywhere because right people who are coming from outside Goa wants a peaceful yeah field views greenery. Correct. Mm. Yeah, they don't want that yeah, city yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they are very happy with that. Yeah. Relaxed uh, life, and mm. they know now uh, having a car or something, they can go to Mapsa. Mm. Yeah. The internet has made everything easier. You just order online, and mm. Amazon Correct. or somebody just del- delivers it to your house. So yeah, yeah there are. It is changing. The cycle is. Uh, the village concept is becoming a society now. Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, and uh, people are adapting to it because uh, they they know now. what is fast life and mm. and i could say when you have a property and then you've given it you get a good money now yeah okay yeah. so a person who doesn't have a good job or mm. doesn't have any proper backing mm. so the end option remains with him which i feel very uh, sorry to say this that mm. he has to take this step yeah, yeah because yeah. this is the only thing i can sell off to take care of my family yeah, yeah. or to educate my child Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I want my child to go abroad. Or I want my child to go in the best university. Yeah. So I don't have that <coughs> funding. I if I even if I take a loan, then I have to keep my house. So yeah. So he sees the best point is that what I have at point of now is that house. I yeah. I give it. I take the money. I shift in a flat. Yeah. Or I take a smaller place. But yeah. now at this point of time, I wouldn't say to buy a land. It is near to impossible for yeah. a loan. Yeah. But there are well to do goans also who I know. Yeah, but it's a small it's percentage, I think. Yeah, no, it's, it's very small. Yeah, yeah, very Rather small. than comparing to Bombay, Bangalore, and Delhi, yeah, the yeah. influx the people mm. who have been coming mm. on, yeah. on uh, and that too has happened after COVID. Yeah, because yeah. most of the you can say the countries, the states were closed, and Goa was open. Yeah, yeah. and we were open like normal. Yeah, and where there the people came in uh, to go for holidays, yeah, for renting an apartment, they found like Goa is something different. Yeah, we have never seen something like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then they said, "Why not to buy it?" And I can uh, work remotely. Yeah. Why so can just start my car and go to Bombay in seven eight hours? Because yeah. Because the highways yeah. are made. Uh, yeah. And of course, nice flights thing. also are there. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. I can ones. fly if you can. Yeah. Two thousand yeah. or three thousand early yes. morning fly flights you can get it. So yeah. that's where everything changed. And in in this two years, I would say, Goa got Thanks. the boost in the properties, and you see a lot of <laughs> outsiders yeah. coming. Yeah, I would. Uh, I think we we also see the changes like yeah, going correct, back home, correct. and you know we see the changes. I think what what's most uh, what's happened is that so like you're saying, you know, the good good old Goa was about houses and fields and yeah. open spaces, yeah, and that community and 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 yeah, a sense of community. And yeah. now I think those Goan houses are being replaced by apartments. And land is being changed into uh, you know a cement uh, kind of thing. So. Yeah. I think, and again, this is something that we've been discussing the last couple of days, where there's a lot of encroachment, a lot of land grass grabbing, or whatever you may call it. So I think that's where maybe I, I hope Sirsay is not struggling too much with that. But what Shiolim is obviously doing is that it's becoming a cement. Uh, You know what I mean? Like it's just it's blocks of cement building houses and stuff like that. So the, yeah, I mean we are okay as of now. The yeah. south is fine. Yeah, uh, it's not as bad as the north. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, people are saying it will come. Yeah, it is already there. I see on the newspapers already uh, south properties that people have started. Yeah, yeah. Earlier, yeah. earlier they used to say that uh, south people have a good unity and they yeah. wouldn't allow anyone to sell off. But yeah. uh, slowly, slowly, even this uh, Sarao Island. Uh, yeah, Sarao. Uh, okay, Sarao Sh- also. I guess earlier people should not sell. There, there was a. I I don't know where I read it or somebody said it. There was some clause where there. You should not not sell a property to an outsider. It's only okay. a goan okay. who is to, who could have if they were selling it, they would. Yeah, uh, they would be allowed, allowed to be allowed sold. No, okay. But maybe I don't. Uh, maybe I think like um, with the increase in the prices. Mm. Okay, now they are okay to sell it to anybody. Yeah, and unfortunately, yeah, like you said also, I mean it. You have to give some weightage over there. I mean, a goan boy or goan family, whatever. Uh, the economy is not easy. I mean, it's yeah. tough. So yeah. you know, yeah. you have to. You end up making those. 
you do it simply because of maybe i mean it's maybe harsh to say survival but you do it more because you think about your future rather than yeah. you think about your past and then you have to compromise on that True. yeah so it's sad but uh, i mean uh, at least so what we've discussed before a lot with other guests is that we've said okay you know uh, so a couple of other guests have said yeah you know uh, uh, neil carry your guys what about when we go and go out we come to dubai we come to we go to canada we go to uk and stuff like that but one thing that is there is that we adapt to the culture that's over there yeah. we assimilate uh, yeah, easily, we, yeah, yeah we you know we recognize it's like for us in dubai you will you know we we are not i mean we are we're very much different to what we are in goa we are very we are very respectful of yeah. of the community over here respectful of their values so i think that's what a lot of people have told us is that at least that should happen in goa where you know if you come in and if you're taking in place but be, become a goan yeah, more yeah, than you cool. are you know bringing your culture or your values into cool. So unfortunate, but um, yeah, yeah coming and main thing is also the the food. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah let's get acceptance like. of the food. <laughs> so yeah, culture and food. So what yeah. what's your favorite uh, food you look forward to? Like go and go. go it's uh, home food. My mom's cook well. Even my brother cooks well. So even if I'm in Dubai, he's here only. So uh, and I too cook sometimes. Uh, okay, when okay. I get a holiday, yeah. yeah. But the favorite food would be the amchi. Shitkodi. Shitkodi. And yeah. I but any place you look forward to when you go down to Goa, like I have to go here and eat. Uh, could be roast omelette. Could be yeah, something. Yeah, roast omelette. There was uh, one place in Mapsa. I couldn't get the name right. Uh, okay. So there was one fixed place we used to go. It started from 11th standard. One okay. friend of mine <laughs> from Mapsa, Louis, All right. who okay. introduced me to this place. And it was like coming from a village and then to a college. And in the school, we used to get one rupee or two rupee only to go yeah. to the for the bus fares yeah, and then yeah, come yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. We used to never spend in the canteen or nothing. And yeah. we have not seen Mapsa. It was like school, and go back Britos. So okay, come okay. to come to the school. After the school, you catch the There's same bus. There's a famous place in Mapsa, no? The bus stand. near the taxi stand. Babu, something, yeah, 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 yeah. something. Same I can't guy, get same guy. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, if with Mapsa, it's the same guy. When we went to the college in Zavis, uh, 11, 12, That's where we used to get a free time because I started with vocational. So okay. our school, our college is to be in the afternoon. Okay. <clears throat> we start at one and get over at uh, four or five something, and okay. then that's where the evening snacks comes. Okay. Okay. Then that's how we got in fond of this roast omelette, and it became our favorite snacks. Maybe on okay. weekends we used to go there, sit down there, and have uh, food places. I would say for lunch, dinner, there are a lot of places the, that are. I think it's. Now. A, I guess I can relate to you in the sense yeah. when when we go down, right? We yeah. look forward to like home. Yeah, 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 the yeah. first thing and is obviously aunts, uncles. We'll you know. go to we'll go to Master Chef mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Since, <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Since my dad's goes for fishing. Okay. Oh wow! Really? Has, uh, At this yeah, age? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He Still should goes. be around seventy. Uh, four, I guess. Wow. And, uh, okay. He gets up early in the morning at five. He has wow. his coffee. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then he takes his rods or uh, fishing, the live baits. Okay. And then he goes for fish. Uh, wow. So he's not there till three four hours. And okay. by the time we wake up, we see the fresh fish That's come so in nice. our kitchen. Okay. Is there a change in that? Like, do you still get good fish and all that? I uh, mean, I don't no, know. I'm not as aware. per his stories, what yeah, he has yeah. told. In olden days, they used to bring sack or the mm. bucket mm. or the basket. You can the say case, the so. full fish. Mm. They used to say they used to eat fish and thona kami shit lai tale. Mm. Okay, now it is we eat rice, rice and, and tonga kami shit fish. <laughs> fish <laughs> like so the amount of fish was so much. Okay, then they should distribute amongst the villages, the neighbors. Oh, okay. oh wow! So they that used much. to get those big tonaks, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. tamsos, palus. I would say that white palu. Been years I've seen that. Okay, okay. It, it is. It is. I don't know. It is that fish is there or not there. Yeah. But rarely you get to see that uh, that fish in the market also. Okay. And now nowadays the catch is very slow. Okay. Yes. A lot of, uh, uh, I would say that uh, canals have been built. Okay. The fresh water comes in that uh, salt water rivers, and that's where the fish doesn't grow. Okay. okay so ah. there are a lot of uh, this thing. Is it disturb the ecosystem? Disturb, yeah. And the, yeah. The breed doesn't grow, or maybe okay. that breed just leaves that particular area and tries to go where it is. So mm. those big fishes you don't see now. Rarely you can get a catch, but then mm. if you get it, you're lucky. Otherwise, you see your normal amche um, gaunti nuste. It's yeah. there at home. Mm. So now, even if he catches my mobile, I have alternate days something he sends me. This today is the, <laughs> so, this is the fresh catch, catch, catch of the day. Then I send him thumbs up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, that's nice. I mean, it's. I would say uh, if if dad's doing it, dad's doing this on a daily basis. Yeah. yeah. So you have fresh fish every yeah, yeah. day. That's. Uh, so wow. it, it depends on the water. So okay. It depends on the tide also. So he okay. knows when to go, when not to go. 
we go we fish the whole day we don't get anything he goes for 2 3 hours and he catches something and he comes right, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Right. so they know the cycle of the yeah, water yeah, the cycle yeah. of the moon it it's all on that yeah and they know uh, when to go it's not like are solia gorem it's not that way how yeah. we do it yeah, yeah, yeah. and we are that uh, in the hot sun over there yeah. and then we come okay dal lai kai na we went for the fun and that that you only get sunburnt and yeah, yeah. <laughs> correct, correct, correct. amazing but but do you go often to goa do you visit you try to make a point yeah i used to year? go uh, twice or three times yearly uh, yeah, earlier okay. before covid i would say then uh, after this it became a yearly and okay. now i stick to that yearly or sometimes if there are long weekends or a long holidays then we make a short trip just to greet yeah. the parents just to say hi to friends and then just come back okay that's nice yeah, yeah. and uh, and what would you say like i know i asked you this question uh, in terms of uh, the changes from mm-hmm. when you grew up to mm-hmm. now uh what would you say like goa needs to change at this time i mean the way it's going i would say we need to promote our culture our tradition mm. we need to give that boost to preserve the, our ident- pre- identity yeah, preserve. and we need to educate our kids in the school mm. what culture is what tradition is this is what we we are what your yeah. parents had done what your grandparents had done mm. uh, there are a lot of uh, culture or tradition where the folk the mm. people don't know of it is dying now mm. and in our uh, school days when annual days to come we used to prepare for the folk dances mm. those were the only times yeah on a regular basis nobody talks is about it, it. Uh, sorry when when it comes to like folk dances mm. uh, i think is it the the kunbi dance or something like that yeah. there are many kinds many right? many kind many kind like there are 30 40 or something i don't know i wouldn't know the exact yeah. number yeah. but uh, what we did in the college were five six proper okay. ones so coming to those folk dances there are uh, amandos dekhnis yeah. mm. okay mm. so lot of those songs which are there are dying because the new generation doesn't know about it mm. yeah okay so they wouldn't know about what is dekhni or what is that vadakara and if or, it's not cool yeah, they will not yeah they will not because <laughs> yeah. those are like, uh, like undra maja mama yeah, and all those other catchy ones yeah yeah they yeah. might okay say okay i know that undra maja mama but after that they will not know yeah, what it yeah, is yeah yeah so there are a lot of other things where people earlier i would say used to communicate with each other with poems yeah they used to write those songs mm. and they used to like interact with each other mm. now as you say we have whatsapp stickers Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think yeah that's a good thing you yeah. went into that you're following you're going with the times. Hmm. It's I mean hadn't you not do the stickers. Mm-hmm. I mean people would not be so aware about your artwork in a way. Don't yeah, you think? There I was mean, yeah correct. Uh, there was a certain following that came through my uh, artworks where I used to do about Goa hmm. the past how it was or whatever it could come come in my mind. So it remained uh, only on Facebook. or mm. uh, you could say if somebody had to visit my website or somebody knew all right this is the guy who does uh, drawing so yeah. and when i used to go to the public or meet somebody oh you are the guy okay but mm. then the whatsapp whatsapp that started mm. i remember there is a story behind the sticker actually which is i want it? to tell you all yeah yeah please yeah. so it was 2018 a diwali sticker came okay okay the diwali is and all yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and i was like oh this is something very nice Mm. I didn't know anything technical about it. I yeah, only know yeah. to draw. So my friend uh, who was here, William Brito, now he is in Canada along okay. with him is Hayden I guess. Yeah. So the the two other partners of WH and Next it, which is now known as Weddings de Goa. Ah uh, okay. Ah, okay. I saw yeah. the software sticker. Yeah. It was written yeah, yeah. there WH. So something. in Goa Weddings de Goa. So William is the owner of that particular uh, company. So which okay. he runs. So it is a Uh, it is a website where you can get everything about weddings okay. you need a photographer it's like a yellow page okay okay, okay. 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 so ah, all right, right. you want a yeah. photographer you want all your wedding needs every, everything mm. so you just type in you get 13 to 14 different mcs uh, 30 to 40 different uh, guys who does right. the uh, decor so yeah so okay. coming back to our yeah. story yeah yeah so <coughs> he said let's meet Yeah. Okay, so he used to be very closely working with the church uh, youth and everything. So I said, okay, maybe he wants to tell me something to do something for a church. And we happened to meet in Bajuman. So he said, did you see the stickers? He said, yeah. I said, no. what is it about? Okay, I said, uh, we are thinking to try if we can do something with your stickers. I said, okay, fine. Let's see. Then he gave me the sizes exactly how I have to draw them 
in on my electronic uh, iPad. So okay, he said I I drew, I drew around five, I guess, and I'm send him. So it's been st- it's it's 24 hours now. I didn't hear anything from him. So yeah. I said okay, maybe it didn't get converted <laughs> yeah, or the project yeah. failed. You're always yeah. anxious yeah, to yeah, know yeah. what is happening. Or the project failed. I yeah. went to my day job, whatever. Yeah, and you would have not lasted for 24 yeah. hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Azul yeah, reply can now. Yeah. No, no, because see, <laughs> yeah. the idea comes from him. I yeah. don't know how that will be worked on yeah. and how much time it, it takes so 24 yeah. hours went by I, uh, this thing i was just coming back from my work and my mobile whatsapp ting 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 something came like five times i said what was that like who's sending me this message and i opened my mobile and i was like surprised to see those the stickers are converted into whatsapp stickers oh, okay ah. the small artworks i was like what to do whom to send now <laughs> okay. okay i was like excited okay then i just sent it to few of my friends they were like excited. How did you do this? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. So that's where the story comes in. Okay. Where uh, so that's where the, it, it, how long ago was it? 2018. 18. 18, 18 19, 19 it was. 19. So those were the five or uh, five batch that we started. Then we said, okay, let's release a pack of stickers. Okay. Patrao, Kosasai, Porasai, Diobara Distiu, Stock Alai, Washa Mare. So yeah. those were the trendy ones with the youth. Say. So we released it. The day I released, I remember, I had uh, 300 messages on my WhatsApp. Wow. wow. Send me, send me, send me, send me, send me. I don't know who's sending me these messages. All unknown numbers. Okay. Right. I was with a sheet writing the mobile numbers. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, whom to send. Because <laughs> there was no app. Yeah. So just writing, writing, writing. Okay. I used to make sure that I fit the number, said fit the number. Then I said, no, my whole day is gone in this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I cannot. So what I did, I put my number there. Okay. Okay, mm. something. Just drop me a hi, I will send it. So it was easy for me to auto-forward. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, they used yeah, to send correct. me, I used to auto-forward it. Like, send it. So that's how, the, I don't remember the exact number. So this was before the app, uh, like you yeah, would download the, the stickers. Yeah, correct. So that's where the it went, it went viral. How many stickers do you have right now? Do you know a ballpark? Uh, should be around 300 stickers. Okay, wow. Oh, wow. And stickers. you could, I, I'm sure through the app, you can make out how many downloads and things like that. I yeah, don't know. I uh, guess not... uh, with, within the first two weeks, we had around 10,000 downloads. I had posted this wow. on my social media. Okay. We were trending seven globally. Wow. And uh, UK, we were trending on top two. Okay. Oh. Uh, because that was the rough history we could have gotten. And I had posted this. On okay. my on my page, uh, that this is the trending that is going on. So it is organic because you can go and even you could have yeah, checked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. not a fake number that we were given. Yeah, yeah. So no, you, obviously, yeah. there's a there's a niche client yeah, for yeah, this. Correct, it's correct, not correct. it's not for yeah, everyone. You go and check <coughs> it. It shows trending at so and so number. Very nice. And so and so thing. So the app just went viral. Okay. And I think Goans only would understand the obviously, sticker. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's. I mean, there are some which are for all. Yeah. Some yeah, are for yeah, all. Yeah. Because some people uh, who don't even understand concrete, they know Kosasai, Abora yeah. Satya, mm-hmm. Naoki yeah. Deng. So yeah. these are the two, three words they would say, Deobara this Deo. And yeah, all, all that. Yeah. Like people know about yeah, it. So yeah. this is the Konkani. And yeah, people were there, a lot of Bombay people. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, I think, yeah. They wanted yeah. the stickers because to communicate with them. Mm-hmm. Bangalore people, yeah. So okay. it, was, uh, it was crazy, I would say. And <laughs> we had not thought that this would go viral. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. But then uh, it. it was, yeah. but it was, it was a good feeling for us because then the newspapers started approaching us. Yeah. And all the big newspapers in Goa had covered the story. Okay. How we did it. Then slowly we came out with Christmas uh, stickers, and then every festival like Sanjao, and then whatever festivals for the Ganesh Chaturthi, we came mm. out with stickers. Yeah, for Eid also, I had done uh, the thing stickers. So Eid was famous with my colleagues. Okay. Yeah. Working in UAE. Yeah. Okay. The I guess the Algerian guys, the the guys from uh, this thing, India, Kerala. Uh, yeah, yeah. Muslim they liked guys, it. They yeah. liked it because they had never seen this. Yeah. Uh, Eid Mubarak in a in a cartoon way. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Cartoon, like yeah. in the in the in the offices, it was going viral. <laughs> okay. Like I said, they wanted more. I said, see, it's a religious thing. I don't want to make too many of this because yeah, yeah. not everyone takes the. Humor in the right way. Yeah. When it yeah, comes yeah, to religion yeah, or it comes yes. to political. Yeah. So yeah. this was a small story uh, that was with the stickers. Okay. And it's going on because recently I have done another set of stickers okay. that also have been posted across. Again, uh, Gomindak Times have covered this story. Yeah, we've seen uh, that. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we we wanted it's to touch to on see. that as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 to see what, uh, what is happening in Goa at the, at the moment. Yeah. But I guess the fastest communication way that we have is the is the whatsapp yeah or, yeah. or a telegram or a facebook 
uh, or Instagram. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would yeah. say so. Youth is connected to it. So yeah, we wanted to reach. It's them a great way. It's way. a great way to create awareness because it's something that's so. Um, <clears throat> I, it, I like you said. Like you said, the youth will appreciate it more. So I love the fact that you you talk a lot about the social causes yeah. through this, and it's something where you can digest easily. You know, we talk about saying, uh, for example, if I tell uh, my teen for the my sixteen year old to go in for a one hour uh, yeah. talk about something about Goa, uh, she will be like, "Thank you very much. It's nice knowing you." But but more if you get it in art, yeah. mm-hmm. in the art form, it's more well received. You know, and it creates Correct. interest. I would imagine. Yeah. You know, a lot of things. But I want to rewind and uh, go back. So how did you first start what prompted you to be a cartoonist and how did it all start can you tell us uh, school uh, being in britos i guess there is a lot of option for you to choose uh, you'll start in loyalas yeah. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so the it's, it's the enemies, same huh? yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same it's, it's just uh, yeah. school yeah. run by the jesuits okay? yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and and the thing so you know how how by how any the chance did you operates. start drawing f- uh, fido dido you yeah, a <laughs> lot, lot of that. Uh, those were, uh, those, that, uh, <laughs> those cartoons first started on the books. Right. Then we got to know you can do it on the jackets, on the t-shirts. Mm. So it was very easy to do. Yeah, you do yeah, one yeah week, it is, yeah. You do this thing and then you do the seven ups. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and his clothes and those stick, yeah. stick figures like, of stick body. Stick bodies. And yeah. it was very, very easy. Yeah, that was actually a good marketing. Yeah, so yeah. I, oh, fantastic. Yeah, really yeah, like seven, seven up, yeah. but uh, yeah. I have never seen that. Uh, yeah. By anyone yeah, for those who do not know, Fido Dido was like the official mascot, I would yeah. say. Yeah. You know, like a mascot of yeah, seven yeah, up yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. at the time. 90s. And 90s yeah. when there was no internet. Correct, correct, correct. And, yeah, so yeah. that was a craze. That And then I remember... Mm, collecting those cocolas and something, and used to get those cards, yeah. some tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So going back to as we say, schooling, uh, I was very fascinated with colors. Okay, okay. So for me, when <clears throat> there was a subject of drawing on that particular day, I was excited. Okay. They were the studies. You look forward to art. And... I for me books and all. I'm not much into reading. Yeah. So for me it is well. Even if my exams were there, I used to just study the previous day and go. So that was okay. I don't know how my memory <laughs> works in that. Sounds if I like to, me. If, <laughs> so, so I always think if I had to study a little um, uh, before and I had to revise and go, maybe my marks would have been better. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, everyone has an interest. Someone has an interest in sports yeah. and they take studies along with them. Yeah. Some people study hard and then they take it's other like things. Is, for yeah. us, it was like. Extracurricular activities was the main thing, and then came other priorities. Yeah. So I used to do a lot of watercolor painting in school. So okay. okay. To that, uh, slowly it started. I did, so one day I remember that was in ninth standard, I guess, or eighth standard, because ninth and then there is no art uh, mm-hmm. in the school. Then they are more into your serious studies. Yeah, yeah. They prepare you ninth for the for tenth. For your boards. So the eighth, I guess, or uh, seventh, somewhere I, I don't remember the standard. Uh, the art, uh, the same. So okay, I had done a very nice leopard, I guess, mm. on a tree. And he said, did you draw this? Mm. I said, yes. Okay. Then he told me, he gave me one painting or a picture, I guess. And he said, can you draw this? And it took me some time because at home now, it's a challenge given to you by a sir. Yeah. So now you cannot disappoint him. Now you have to show your skills. Yeah. So I went home. I sat with that. I drew it very nicely and I showed. So that time to get eight and a half out of ten in Britos was a big thing. Okay. But the last, last was seven, seven and a half. Mm. And to get 10 out of 10 was another. So yeah. you are like, you are, yeah, yeah, you're, you're qualified. You <laughs> yeah. already got a certificate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I got eight and a half for that. Okay. okay. So he he's found some small, small, minute mistakes because it's not exact to that. Mm. This thing, but I did fillers of my own. So then came a open uh, this thing. Go Arts of College was celebrating 25 years of the Silver Jubilee. The okay. Altin one. Okay. Okay. So there were like a bunch of people uh, told to, okay, you'll uh, go and take part in this uh, through the school. And we used to draw on the books, on a drawing mm. book. There they gave us a big chart. Okay. A oh. big one oh. on the floor. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. like 200, 300 kids are there. Right. And okay. a certain category it was. And two, three sub, this thing was given. I remember a freedom fighter, uh, a festival in Goa, or some, and one more topic was there. Mm. And besides me, the guy is just painting the whole chart. And I'm still there trying to draw some tiny things. <laughs> I said, this will not work. Within that time, <laughs> what has been given? And we have, we've been drawing on the small books. Now this yeah, is something, yeah, this is something like... big. How to draw those characters? We have to do those big. So I said, I'll do holy. I am good with colors. I said, okay. Yeah. I did some outline and did some buildings, people throwing water and all those things. 
now so i am happy that my whole chart is complete so Absolutely. i anyhow submitted it and i said no nothing yeah. will happen because i know our expertise is still that drawing book only this is something if somebody had to told us then we would have practiced mm. it was something at the last moment for us mm. anyways somebody after a month or after uh, 20 days or something it was came to us uh, saying that congratulations i said what happened now did i do something good in sports because we used to run around and do something or the other yeah. or something happened he said you are coming the merit uh, list for the goa art of uh, college and your painting has been selected in one of the top 15 i guess wow wow i said what did i do <laughs> <laughs> and i know what i have done yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. now it is on the judge right yeah, so yeah, whoever yeah. sees it he found it very colorful and for an um, you for didn't a judge, feel it was your best or something no it was ah, not it was, my best because some, yeah. it was it was something that we have never done it before yeah, 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 such right, a big right. scale you were not sure chart, about yeah. the yeah. Yeah. yeah so what happens is when mm. when I, as a judge when you even uh, judge a painting they see if you have completed the painting mm. if the all the colors are filled mm. if you draw it and just leave it and the colors are not there it might not qualify mm. for a winning thing maybe the whole chart was colorful and i had tried to fill it in every gap and it's not a white and it was all mm. colored so maybe one of the reasons why it was mm. been qualified for this thing so somehow we were called there to get the certificate from the chief minister okay for the appreciation wow. and we couldn't go because exams were going on or something was there but i still have that certificate and i remember that certificate is hand written by one of the students maybe okay and it looks like a printed copy okay so that was where i thought i can do something in art okay okay then 9 10 there was nothing much so it was like slowly it was dying mm. of then 11 12th we started doing those one act plays we went mm. into the nss direction and then we went to a different direction where we used right. to act on the stage write our own scripts here and there mm. and do something for the school uh, for the college and this thing so then came the first year so we being the naughty kids mm. were on the back benches mm. Okay, the lectures were going on. So what to do now? We could only look outside the window, okay, and look at the birds, the trees. I said, now this like is getting. <laughs> <laughs> I guess um, in eleven, twelve, the lectures were thirty minutes. Here okay. it was forty-five minutes. Okay. Now this fifteen minutes are like burden. What to do? <laughs> like figures, accounts, uh, mathematics, yeah. economics. I said, now this is getting too boring for me. <laughs> yeah. So on my last book of uh, the pages in the, the last college, pages yeah, of the book, yeah, 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 yeah. you would scribble, doodle. Yeah. I used to just keep on drawing something or the other. So right. every day there was some characters drawn, something drawn. So one day I remember. That's how I got to into the Goa uh, Goa comics or uh, can say art. One of my friend gifted me a Mario Miranda book. Mm. Ah. Okay. So I had seen his work, but uh, maybe one or two paintings here and there, where, wherever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah where the holdings were there. Then yes. You know, okay, yeah. 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 This was there, but I got a big book of mm. Mario. I said, "What is this now?" I said, "Mario, I can see, but what is this? Okay, but it's a big book." So I opened it. I opened it, and I was like, "Somebody could draw something like uh, the best painting till I now I remember Mario's in my this thing for me is the funeral." Mm. Ah, yeah. It's, he it's captured very, the essence yeah. of so uh, was funeral Goa. is a very sad thing it's yeah, an emotional yeah, thing yeah, people yeah. are crying yeah. and uh, on the loss of somebody and yeah. mario is drawn something that i could laugh on yeah. okay <laughs> yeah. uh, the tongue is out yeah. or something and somebody looking at the bottle over there and yeah. the people somebody too many things are going on in yeah it's something to it so, yeah. yeah i said this is a serious thing <laughs> and he has he's drawn it that i can laugh or anybody can laugh so yeah. so if you see that that took me back saying that uh, something like this also exist so why not i sit do something of my own mm. but it took me years it didn't instantly happen that okay yeah. i seen something and i started drawing no then i forgot about it somewhere but i should try to see how mario should draw how these characters were designed and uh, yeah then he had his signature yeah, his signature yeah, but yeah, then yeah. a proper uh, artist who has been trained can copy mm. exactly yeah. how it yeah. is for us we are not trained we were yeah. like sitting behind and drawing So I should continue again drawing, drawing. <coughs> Somebody should scribble and tell, "Can you do this as a cartoon?" I should convert it into the face. I said, "Ari, you can do something good." This um, college competitions, okay, inter inter class competitions, okay, okay, uh, plus points what we call in Xavier's. Okay. So there used to be an art section for that. So that's where we took part. There we won. Very Then nice. Then we had taken part in the folk dance. There we won. I did a uh, monologue. I won in that. 
Wow. So a lot of things were like building up now. Means I knew I could do this. Mm. Studies were aside. It kind of gave you that confidence. Yeah, confidence. And, uh, Studies were on one side, but I knew I was doing something on this side. Mm. And we always had that winning thing. And if something was wrong, we were like on the stage. No, I had done this. I have done. We have to win this. Okay. There was no other way for this. Right. So slowly, slowly. After my TY, I I did a correspondence in masters. Okay, same time I did a, my course in logistics okay. in Goa. Okay, I took my uh, training in Air India, okay. uh, in the cargo section, and that's how I landed in Dubai. My okay. uncle was working here, so he got me a visit and I got job. So now coming back in two thousand seven and two thousand eight, I guess in the early. First of all, the internet was not much. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mobiles not were as. not smarter. Mm. Yeah. Okay, we had those. <laughs> yeah. Nokia. We had those Nokia. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and I found myself alone here. My friends back in Goa. Mm. I am here with my uncle. No much friends around. That time metro was not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to catch certain number of bus, and everybody was working. Yeah. Mm. So that's where I started missing Goa. So I said, "What to do?" Okay, now you're not the anyway the actor of the play. Mm. You are not yeah, the no b- last bencher who should draw the cartoons, okay? <laughs> yeah. And uh, you are nowhere now. You are here to get a job. Yeah. You have to go to the office. Yeah. You have to come home, cook your food or whatever it is, and that's that's it. Then you find you're going back where yeah. I was been known by so many people in the college. Mm. The teachers used to know you for your. Uh, for your art or for your extracurricular activities now you are become a 9 to 5 person mm. where you are doing the same thing that uh, which others are doing it and yeah. i felt like i'm losing something there okay so i said so i have to do something i cannot sit with a paper and watercolor and start uh, doing this painting because when you when i came to dubai i came in a very small space and everybody starts with that yeah, i would yeah. say from the from the low mm-hmm. and then you go on the, on the yeah, other yeah, side yeah. so somehow the electronic industry was changing okay okay so i found a pad which could get connected to a laptop and you could draw something digitally and what you should draw on the pad you couldn't see you had to look in the screen okay so that's why i started practicing this uh, okay. artworks so i said what would be the easiest way for me to communicate to people or to post my artwork okay I said why not start doing those cartoons what i should do on the back benches but that time i used to only draw faces okay the body was I didn't there. know how to draw the body. I said, "How will I do this? Because you need to get ex- everything exactly. The hands yeah, has to be the same, the fingers, kind of... the the whole structure." Okay, I said, "Let me start doing something." So slowly, slowly, I started doing it, getting mm. myself into practice of the <clears throat> hands, the bodies. But drawing is not enough. Mm. You need to give a humor to it. Yeah. So two people are standing. I cannot just post that two people yeah, just standing yeah, yeah. over there. Yeah. What are they talking? Context, yeah. What are they? What I think that body language also yeah, has yeah. to be there. Like, yeah. You need the to truth. show a surprise. Yeah. yeah, yeah you need yeah, to correct. say somebody on the back step. Mm. Somebody is trying to send. Then you had you had to have a script for this. You cannot just do something and post it. People mm. will not understand that. But that time I remember some football uh, World Cup was going on. I started drawing tunes on football. Okay. Brazil versus Spain and mm. those I did it in Konkani way. Okay. 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 I did in Konkani way. So. 20, 30 likes is to come. So I would say, okay, people are just liking it. Mm. So from there onwards, I guess Nokia came up with uh, a smartphone. Okay. Because that time maybe Apple was there or O2 mobile was there, but that was on a very expensive side. Yeah, I tried drawing with that joystick. Mm. And I could draw, but not cartoons, but I could do only the landscapes. Mm. Okay, on that. But anyhow, I was getting a touch of that screen. Okay. Of the digital, okay. so how to what pressure you put it on the with the pen, and if you want a darker line, you want a lighter line. If you want to shade it, what how to play with the pressure along with that. So I said, let me see buying an iPad and how I go with that. Okay. So that's where I started drawing on the iPad, and there that's where I practiced a lot to okay. get to where I am. I'm I'm not saying that I have become perfect. It's still a learning for me that I keep. Okay. Doing it every day, and every day I see a, a certain change in my characters. Okay. They mm. become a little sharper. Right. Or mm. I try to give more depth to a painting. Yeah. yeah. So it it's every day that I do something that keeps me learning in that. Very good. We wanted to actually t- touch. So uh, the, uh, going moving forward with this, like you you we saw we read somewhere about NFTs and stuff like that. 
So what's what's the future for you as far as this is concerned? I mean, yeah. Uh, again, bringing back the WhatsApp sticker stories. That's where again we set. Since they are more into the technical side, William comes in, and another friend of mine, Sunny. Uh, he is back in Goa. He was here in uh, Dubai. So we were studying on this NFTs and something went viral, three hundred thousand, one million. Uh, yeah. This guy, it, uh, yeah. Neymar took it for three hundred thousand. Okay. One of the biggest singers has taken some fungible token. I said, I draw this every day. <laughs> that's that's how it was. But then yeah. we went in deep how it, how it works. Okay. So then we started how the NFTs, it's fungible token, works. And you need to draw some characters. But you have to go on a certain uh, portal, okay. get into the crypto. And then okay. how you sell it, uh, That's that's you have to have a following to get okay. it sell. So we said, let's try to do something about Goa. Because by the time... This riches goes will will take ages or it will take time for people to understand what it is. Since we are in Dubai, mm. we know this uh, area or we the news has come to us before. By the mm. time it reaches India and the people go into it, it will take time. So I had done uh, ten NFTs and I just posted on my uh, social media that I am releasing ten NFTs. This is what it is. Mm. And within twenty four hours, all ten NFTs were sold. Oh wow! Wow. Okay. So, so this, I mean, I'm very interesting here because we we like to discuss a couple of things uh, with regards to the younger Goan generation. Yeah. So this, uh, we, uh, Carrie and I were discussing a couple of days back, and I asked him. I said, "Is there a future in this kind of, uh, you know, in this in this field for the Goan?" So right now, if there's a Goan boy who's listening, <laughs> who's has a an hand like you as far as art is concerned, oh Goan girl, oh Goan girl, of course. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my apologies. What would your advice be? What would your advice yeah. be yeah, for the younger Goan who who have a hand in the art? Okay. What's the next uh, phase of this for you? Uh, you mean to say regarding the NFTs, or it's generally with the digital I mean, art? I mean, generally, yeah. like you know, it's so, uh, uh, when Carrie and I were discussing talking a couple of days back. He said, you know, when we were growing up, uh, nobody would have even said, okay, get into the art. Is yeah, there yeah, any correct, opportunity? Correct. You know, no, how it, parents it happened to me. Yeah, it yeah, happened yeah. to me. Uh, say you're an engineer, doctor. Say, that's no, it. No, no, I, I would say that. Yeah, when I, when uh, I, w- I got the certificate or the award from the Goa College of Arts for the merit list. For me, that interest in art became so much. I went to find if there is any career to do in that. Mm. And I got yeah. In Altin, there is a college uh, for arts, and I want to go there because you need to have you need to give an entrance test. Okay. They will give you an object to draw, or they'll give some bananas or something, and you need to draw in different yeah. angles. Okay. And that's how they see if you are good in that skill. Okay. okay. That's okay. They feel okay. There is a touch in this guy. He knows about it. Their interest. They would. He's say. got that talent. So I told my fun. parents uh, that coming from the village, they will not understand what. How the art goes on. Yeah. So they said, "Baba, yeka ka hai future na. Unka diswa na. He to kire kotha le. You were in Italy or anywhere in Europe. Yeah. Okay. Then this type of things have been given more attention, and yeah. people yeah. are there to buy your art, whatever price you tell. Yeah. yeah. But in Goa, by the time it will reach there, it will take time. But I don't see a future. Don't go. You go to the college, do the normal yeah, way, normal commerce way, yeah. or arts, whatever it is, and then you see if you really want to do it something, then you do it." Okay. But for me, that thing was going along with me. Okay. But I never knew that I would come and be sitting here and talking about this. Okay. Yeah. And I would still say that there are people who are good artists. Okay. I have seen people's work. Okay. okay. I have seen uh, people. There is talent out there. There, there is a lot of talent out in Goa. Okay. Another friend of mine <laughs> in Goa, Fabian Gonzalez. If you see his artwork, caricatures, mm. toy photography, uh, mm. he he does it in an excellent way. But There are no buyers in Goa because okay. the price what we quote, they think okay. ये किधर है? ये simple मरे. Okay. ये कौन भी काटता मरे. ये का तू मतलब इतने पैसे सांगता है. But people need to understand one thing. That is his bread and butter. Yeah. He's not an engineer. Mm. He's not a doctor. Mm. For him, he is an artist. Yeah. That's where he is earning from. If he has quoted you fifteen thousand, he has quoted you for his labor, mm. the time that he has spent on that, his creativity. Mm. to put those colors to make it look good mm. okay for you to approach him saying that i want to buy it mm. so people think okay one rat sod mare can you give a discount do you mm. go to the doctor and tell him give me a discount <laughs> for an <laughs> operation <laughs> yeah. after an operation yeah. okay it's like a case where you go to a restaurant and you say okay I ate this much only. You charge me this much. I left that much. No, yeah, they will yeah, charge yeah, you for yeah, the full thing. That's yes. true. Yeah, so, you have to. So people need to if, if they have to support an artist, then yes, whatever he is quoting, understand why he is quoting so much. It yeah. must have taken him a year also to create that artwork. Yes, mm. yes. Because it's not Lot like every effort. day. Because for an artist, he 
he need to isolate himself from that busy world yeah, he needs to yeah. sit in one room or he has to go somewhere where he's alone because yeah, yeah. first the picture has to come in your mind and yeah. that's where he has to put it down mm-hmm. and then he has to put those colors and make it because he is not copying it from somewhere it is his experience your experience or somebody's experience is trying to capture and put it when especially it's a commission artwork because you are telling him i want in painting like this like this mm. what how much it will be so he's captioning your story yeah and then when he's quoting no no he's saying no i don't want this yeah, yeah. it's sad. so people need to understand but i think that. i think you also do a lot of that right you do artwork uh, for on on requests you prepare and i do yeah yeah so yeah. that's that's also another but i think uh, the la- uh, before we run out of time a quick one would you say you have to be careful nowadays with the kind of cartoons or the message you're putting out i think uh, you do a lot of you do a lot of social causes as in you talk a lot about social causes so what are your worries about that i mean it is happening in the comedy world like stand up comedy and things like that but yeah, you know yeah it it has happened to political, me also political yeah it has happened to me <clears throat> with my experience a uh, few years back i did a cartoon on a good friday okay Uh, crucifixion of jesus right okay and i posted on my page two three people attacked me okay you, sh- you are making fun of jesus right okay you are trying to show him in a cartoon way what yeah. do you think of yourself okay this is wrong take it down but somehow there was lot of people who came in okay to support saying that haven't you read any biblical cartoons yeah. or uh, haven't uh, you uh, seen any books yeah. for the children uh, where they teach through the yeah, cartoons and yeah, all yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. maybe she was an old school mm. okay i don't say she was wrong maybe mm. she has not seen a way to show jesus or somebody yeah people have a different way of expressing yeah. so that's where may- maybe she understood when people stepped in that there is because people started posting pictures mm. different so these are the cartoons or whatever it is so there are two three people if it happened to me with with another but even religion. political as well right i mean political yeah there is like i see lot of i mean compared unknown, to back in the day yeah, yeah unknown ideas that comes and says like uh, negative about uh, artwork so mm-hmm. what do you think uh, you're trying to portray here okay mm-hmm. why are you supporting that party no it's not that yeah what i feel is that i'm doing a general cartoon it's just to put out a message and 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 that's a, that, that's a thing But yes there is lot of uh, negativity around when it comes to social media because yes. nobody will come and tell you on your face that what you have drawn is wrong yeah, yeah. because you are getting a social Before media before you couldn't uh, yeah, 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 yeah it was yeah. Dif- <laughs> nobody <laughs> back in the day it was difficult yeah yeah nobody would uh, call That's you up it. and say because if you feel it's wrong you show your identity and why you're saying it you justify it mm. just because you're sitting back of the screen on the social media on the internet and just yeah. posting it it doesn't make sense yeah it's yeah, like yeah. either you don't like my work or you don't like me yeah if you don't okay. like it don't follow yeah. send yeah. under stories yeah yeah true don't not so, yeah. don't be don't be negative so i would or. say for this generation whoever is there who is doing any kind of an art digital or whatever is posting careful if you are doing any political because okay. the humor with them is lost yeah. they take it very personally yeah okay any religious try to understand the line yeah. where you need to stop yeah it shouldn't hurt anyone's sentiment yeah, yeah. and the third thing i would say don't try to copy yeah hmm. even if somebody comes and tells you are maru mirinda cha art work copy karan di mare or billi cha art work copy karan no hmm. try to find your identity even yeah. if you're drawing a cartoon as a square face also it's fine yeah it's absolutely fine it's your own it's it's your own yeah so you're creating and giving it a personal touch yeah. so that's would that would be my advice to to people great Okay. I think so we're we coming to, to a close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're uh, ready this time. So the one thing that's against us is all this time. <laughs> yeah, time. But uh, uh, people where they can find you on social media uh Billy. Uh yeah, Facebook I have a page that is okay. operating as uh, Billy Billy Tunes Tunes Goa. Goa. Uh Insta I had a page in a similar name but somehow right. it got uh, hacked. Ah, okay, okay. It was okay. Uh, there were too many links that gets posted. so sometimes you see a posting that comes an artist saying that i took part in this art can you click the link to vote for me but it sometimes it turns out to be that person's id is hacked and you try to support that person yeah. and your id goes hacked so i have started up with a new one it's known as official bulletins goa okay. okay i'm just gaining followers in that because it takes time okay they can re-gain. find you on that yeah yeah so Instagram. it takes time to get followers i have a website that okay. is www.bulletinsgoa Okay, which should appear on the screen. Yeah, somehow it has been halted because lately I have uh, come across it's not lately you can say a couple of years and then now it is becoming more where 
I had good pictures on my website, but mm. there was a note that has been put across saying that uh, it's copyrighted. Please mm. do not download. But mm. people go to Google and do it. And they started else. downloading and they put Sad. in their restaurants, uh, in their cafes, uh, use it on their commercial uh, websites. Even okay. I seen on the products also. Oops. That they are given. So after studying this, I got to know that those page, those pictures could be converted into high resolution. Oh. So I've. Put the website hold. on hold. So I'm working okay. on it to, okay. to build it. And yeah, 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 everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So again, the people should understand about copyright because yeah. it's yeah. not only me. I would say a lot of artists Everyone down there in Goa have everyone. faced this. In the bigger picture, this is I think a lot of artists are struggling with this. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this it's, is all, it's up to all of us to be responsible people. Yes. I think respect the artist. Respect the artist. Yeah, and, and, and people should understand when something is available on the internet or somewhere. It's not free. Yeah. There's always a note somewhere. Yeah. Sub, the image might be subject to copyright. Yeah. Please check with the artist. Something or the other note will be there. Yeah. But our people, when you approach them, they say, what is copyright? They say, what is copyright? They say, what is copyright? Yeah, so they don't, I mean, it's a yeah. matter of education, uh, yeah, yeah. awareness. So that is and, and the last... Uh, yeah, don't don't have too much time. Yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> we are too weary. Yeah. But the last one is, uh, is there anything upcoming, any future projects you're working on? Uh, I have done two group uh, exhibition that was led by Fabian Gonsalves in Goa. So I was a part of uh, of the team okay. along with Alexis. So okay. we okay, together nice. had done uh, this and good, good response. Okay. Uh, sold out response was there. So I'm planning my solo exhibition. Very I'm right, working nice. towards it. Okay. Yes. So okay. the support that I need in Goa. So look out for a gallery. I think so Kala Academy, I don't know it's operating now or no. Because okay. it's that place where but people... But it'll be in Goa. It'll be in it'll Goa. Be in Goa because I want to do something in Goa right, first. Right. Okay, and then okay. uh, go, go across. Then take it all over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. being visited uh, UK, Portugal okay. with my okay. artwork earlier. Right. So I think I need to do something solo hmm. for the people back. So I'm working towards it. So I'll get the dates out when I'm ready for it. So hopefully targeting this year. If not this year, then it should okay. be next, next year. But yeah, right. something about Goa will be all coming right. soon. From my okay, side. cool, cool. Great. Thank you so much, Billy. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you Billy, so much yeah. for your time and uh, appreciate it. And I, uh, Neil, as always, thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, I'll just pop in one liner. We said we would discuss uh, a lot of things happening in Goa right now. Yeah. Um, a lot of issues which the Goan diaspora in Goa itself is is struggling with. Uh, and we wanted to, a couple of our listeners reached out to us and said it's if we could just reach out to the bigger audience yeah, and uh, support uh, what we're struggling with. Uh, just to keep it very short, uh, I would say if you can Google or read up about the Goa Bachao Abiyan, uh, there, there are a lot of causes with regards to uh, the land grabbing of the, the tree felling, felling of trees right, in Sholem. A yeah. uh, lot of issues that the Goa is, I think what the best thing that I'm learning from this is that the Goans are coming together and they are they are uh, they are voicing their concerns, and I think the more people who come together and voice their concerns, there's definitely going to be change. I've said it before. Uh, we said it before that the change starts with each one of us. Yeah. So please support. Uh, Google about this. Find out more about it if you have the and time. And we'll put the uh, Instagram uh, link of the yeah, Safe Cioli page. Yeah. On our there's screen, a lot of so things happening see. in Goa. So if you can try yeah. to support and help in whatever way you can. And as always, thank you for tuning to our show, Kiss Me, I'm Goan. You can find us on Instagram, Kiss Me, I'm Goan. And if you have any ideas, send us an email, kissmeamgoan at gmail.com. And please like, follow, subscribe. We're on YouTube, we're on Instagram. Thank you so much. Deo Bore Take care. Bye. Bye.